Hey, welcome back to my channel. I just made a quick green screen behind me and I made it kind of scuffed on purpose with these lines that aren't very straight because I want to show you the problems you might run into when making a green screen yourself. Oh, and by the way, this process is exactly the same in OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS. By the end of this video, it will look like this. So yeah, let's start after a quick word from our sponsor. Ontel TV is a website for streamers where you can buy separate graphics like badges and alerts, but you can also buy complete packages and right here you see view all stream designs. Here you can see a bunch of stream designs and when you see something that looks interesting you just click on it and then you can find a promo video on top which gives you a great preview of the pack but you can also scroll down and right there you have a preview tool. You can click on new shear for example to see the alert. You can also click on animated talking banner that will show you this right here. You can preview the scene transition. You can preview everything in this pack. So click on the link in my description. Find the pack that you like and then use code TVN at checkout to slice 50% of your price. So just like I said before, I'm gonna show everything in OBS Studio right here, but if you're using Streamlabs OBS, this also works. It's exactly the same process. And if you don't have your camera in OBS yet, you just click on the plus icon, then you go to video capture device, you click on okay, and then you choose your webcam and this drop down. For me, it's a capture card because my camera is linked to one. Before you even start adding effects in your streaming program to remove the green, there are two things that are really, really, really important when using a green screen. First of all, you want to make sure that it's as flat as possible. As I said, I just put this green screen behind me really quickly for this video and I also made it kind of scuffed on purpose to show you. But for example, this right here, you really want to make sure that something like this doesn't happen. And the reason for that is when you have a fold like this, for example, it creates a shadow because lights will be shining on you, either from the ceiling on yourself or from soft boxes in front of you. And when you have folds like this, you got a shadow and that shadow will be very dark, almost black, and then when you remove the green, that shadow will not be removed and it will give a lot of noise in your background. So you wanna make sure that the green screen behind you is pretty stretched out and you can do this by attaching things to the sides and like stretching it out from the top then on the middle and then on the bottom now the second really important thing is your lights right now i have two elgato key lights in front of me as you can see when i disable them it's almost completely dark so these lights are doing all the heavy lifting and because of that the green screen also looks pretty good and it looks pretty lit if you also have lights shining on you and they also shine on the green screen you want to make sure that you're not too close to the green screen as you see right now there's a big shadow below my hand and when i would remove the green that shadow would also cause a lot of noise and when i'm sitting very close to it you can see that there's a bunch of shadows behind me and those would also give problems. So first of all, make sure your green screen is very smooth. Second of all, make sure that when you're using lights on yourself, that you're not too close to the green screen so there's no shadows. Now, last tip, if you're really serious about the green screen and you wanna make a setup that you're using all the time and you want it to be very professional, then you might wanna use lights that are shining exclusively on the green screen. Let me show you. So this right here is one of my first softboxes. I think I got it on Amazon for $30, something like that. So if I would be really serious about the green screen setup, I will make sure that it's a bit further away from me. And then I would put two of these lights next to me and make sure that they are shining on the green screen, but not on myself. So then I would have one or two lights shining on myself, for example, the Elgato key lights, then it would be me. Then behind that, I would have two of these soft boxes pointing at the green screen. And then the last thing, of course, would be the green screen. So then after you got a decent green screen setup, it's time to start removing the green and tweaking the image a little bit. So right here, you see video capture device. You wanna right click it and then you wanna go to filters. You can also just click on it and see filters right here. And then you click on the plus icon to add another filter and then you choose color key, click on OK, and then it will take green by default. Right now, you don't see anything changing, and that's because we gotta increase this right here, the similarity. If you start increasing this, you will see at one point the green will start to fade away. You can see right here that I had to put this very high before the green started to fade away, and that's because the green screen isn't lit on itself and that it's pretty dark. 
work. If there would be two lights on my green screen itself, it would start to disappear as soon as I would move this right here and i'm gonna show you an example when i disable this color key and i click on the plus icon and then i choose color correction i can click on ok and then when it's selected i can click on this arrow to move it to the top so the color correction gets applied first and then my color key to remove the green and now with this color correction i can increase the gamma to make it more bright if i would then go to the color key and i would start increasing it you see right here it starts to get removed at 550 instead of the 800 from before and the reason for that is that this color key when you select green is looking for bright pure green and if the green is kind of dark kind of unsaturated because of that it will be hard to remove it so something you can do is tweak your image first with this color correction play with the gamma play with the brightness a bit you can also increase the contrast and that will make this even more green so then it will be more easy to remove it so let's go to the color key let's enable this right now and as you see it starts to get removed already and you can just increase this till the green is away until you are still visible if you do it too much you will start to get removed it will start to remove other colors too so you want to find the sweet spot right here where enough is removed and enough of yourself or everything from yourself is still visible after doing that you can increase the smoothness right here and then you can play with that a bit the reason for the smoothness is that sometimes it can be a bit harsh for example right here on these hairs if i add a bit of smoothness this will get smoothed out a bit so right now it looks pretty good and as you see right here and right there we have a bunch of green and that's because it's completely dark right there there is no light shining on that green so it will not get removed and just like i explained before when i move my hand right here you will see that the shadow is visible on the screen it doesn't look good at all so make sure it's smooth make sure it's pretty bright and make sure it's a bit behind you so you're not too close to it so then you have something like this and there will probably be a bunch of things that are next to the green screen or on top of it that you want to remove first i'm gonna make this a bit smaller so if you want to remove the right part right here you want to hold alt on your keyboard and then you want to move it like this so you can cut off one of the sides then you can cut off the other side just by holding alt 2 and you can cut off this a bit if this green is bothering you right here so if you're not putting a light on parts like that they will not be removed by the color key so then you're gonna have to cut them off or you're gonna have to put a light on it so right now this is pretty good you could put this in the corner like this and then we see this microphone right here i could reposition it like this and then it would be perfect but i just want to show you one extra thing so let's say that my image is like this it doesn't look very good that i'm cut off right here on the right because that doesn't look very natural and it's screaming green screen when you do this right here so one way would be to reposition yourself to this side and then that's fixed or you can also right click your webcam right here or in the sources on the video capture device then you can go to transform Form, and then you can choose flip horizontal something like this then you could put it this way and then the cutoff side will be right here but of course right now i'm looking to the outside of the screen and that's very amateuristic so i'm gonna right click it go to transform flip horizontal again this is kind of perfect and again you can click on the video capture device then go to filters and then go to your color correction that we added before and then you can start playing with this till this looks like you want but be careful because if you make it too dark the green will start to reappear so right now you can find the sweet spot right here and then if because of this there's some green starting to pop up you can go back to the color key and then make some adjustments like this you can play around with this till it's perfect if youtube knows you then this video will probably be of some interest to you so maybe you can click on that one maybe you won't i have a lot of streaming tutorials on my channel so you can look there to see if you want to learn anything else and besides that thanks a lot for watching and i will see you in my next video have a good day